Hi, Frank. Thank you so much for asking this question about graphs. Graphs are one of my favorite subjects in computer science. Your problem that you stated is how do I get the average shortest path in a graph? And in order to do that, we have to look at every single node in the graph and see its distance in shortest path from every other node in the graph. So for node in Python, what we'd be doing is building a list for node one of its shortest paths, which node one to two is one, one to three is two, one to four is two, and one to five is one. We'd have to do this, this is node one. We'd have to do it for node two also through node five. So the question is, how do we keep building these other lists in Python in order to get shortest path values for all the nodes in the graph, not just one node? Python has this awesome third party library that you can use called NetworkX. It allows you to easily build graphs and perform some common graph operations. The first thing you do is import network X as NX. That's convention. Network X, one way to build a graph is to use a list of tuples of the edges. So here I'm creating the edges list that contains the tuples. I then create an empty graph object. Then I build the graph by using this method called ed add edges from and I add the edges from the list of edges we created. Now in memory right now, Network X has created this entire graph for us with only four lines of code. From there, I wanna get the shortest path link from one node to every other node in the graph for all the nodes. And Network X allows us to do this in one line by getting the shortest path link for our graph and converting it to a dictionary. This is gonna look like this, where the key to this dictionary is the node, and then the value for every key is a dictionary of all the nodes in the graph, and the values are the shortest path lengths. So if we look at one here, like we did on the board, you can see, oh, we're doing node one is the key. The distance from one to two is one, one to three is two, one to four is two, and one to five is one, just like we saw on the whiteboard. So how do we convert this dictionary object to that one value that we saw earlier, which is 1.2? We're gonna use a list comprehension. Comprehensions are really important to add to your Python tool belt they're gonna allow you to really easily operate on iterables much quicker than using uh, like nested for loops. So this is the syntax for a list comprehension. I'm looking at, I'm assigning the keys of that dictionary to this variable node and the inner dictionaries to this variable paths. From there, I can do an operation on each piece of that dictionary. So I'm summing the paths by using the sum.path.values, dividing that for the length of all the nodes in the graph or the number of nodes in the graph. One by one, this is gonna look something like this. We're doing node one, we're getting the dictionary for node one, we're gonna sum all the path values, and then we're gonna divide that by the number of nodes, and we're gonna get 1.2. For this particular graph you sent, this is gonna give us something that looks like, ends up looking like this, which is a whole list where everything happens to be equal to 1.2. This is likely not to be the case in any graph of sufficient complexity. In which case we would use this uh, line of code right here, which is, allows us to get the average path length for your graph or average shortest path length for your graph, where we're taking all the averages for each node and dividing it by 
the number of nodes in the graph. Thank you so much for taking the time to ask that question and uh, listen right now. I wish you luck in your Python journey. Thank you.